Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. We are going to uh, uh, ask an uh, integer and multiple by two, and we are going to count how many digits this has, has it and print it out, and uh, we are going to continue the program or finish. Uh, it's very important to see or any programming that you make algorithms. For the first, you are asking after an integer and you are going to read the value and we are going to check if it is integer or another value. If it is not integer, ask again. And if it is integer, multiple by two. And then we are going to count how many digits the result has and print it out. And we are going to ask if you want to continue or fin finish the program. For this, it is very important for a good programmer to use external, um, intern, uh, external uh, uh, functions than main function. If you put everything in a main, the program is not so exactly compatible. But when you use different uh, another functions, it's going to be very quicker and compatible. In main, we are going to define four digit, uh, four integers, i, m, n, a number and number is equal one and two float number y and z and in i we are going to use i equals to uh, function start and before function main you must declare the int start or define int start uh, function int start void means that it returns a integer value and its parameter is empty there is it hasn't any parameter that is because we have called i equals to start and we are going down after main we are going to declare the function start the function start has an integer variable i and a float variable x and we are going to ask give me an integer and to read the value we put we are using the scanf uh, function both of them are in the stdu.h or uh, and in stdlib.h. They are header files. Then we are going to we are going to write read the function the value with float format in x x is float variable and that and before the x indicate address put the value as float in address of x and we are going to use i equal x i is integer and it is implicit conversion of float number to an integer and we are going to use if x minus i is greater than zero means that you have uh, you have uh, given a, a decimal value then we are going to print f wrong number 
and we are going to return and we are going to put i equal minus 1 and we return i here if you have used a decimal value then i is uh, lower than 0 is negative and we are going to again use a, a call to start function until we have a integer value if i is not is um, equal 0 or greater than 0 then multiple i with 2 and then print f i you are going to double value and then you are going to count how many uh, how many uh, digits it has it we are going to use i minus i uh, divided by 10 and its its uh, result and and divided by 10 and put it in i again i minus reminded of i divided by 10 and then divided by 10 and put it in i while i is greater than 0 you are going to use again again the same uh, the same function the same uh, uh, the same uh, command and you are going to increase the number the first time it was one and the second time it's going to be two digits when you are finished with that while you are going to your number has so, so many digits and it's integer and that is the number and you are going to use this one and you are going to put number equals one and while number is not equal zero give me two integers and you are going to read them as float in z and y and you are going to put m uh, implicit conversion of uh, uh, float y to integer and also float z as integer in uh, n and if m less than y or n less than z it is run number uh, otherwise uh, you are going to use uh, uh, to put number is equal uh, zero now we are running this uh, pr and then uh, we are going to use the your first number in hexadecimal is uh, m and in hexadecimal format result of m divided by n uh, I suppose that it is the uh, another another program yes but it is okay the result of uh, m divided by n is with three decimal float uh, format is y divided by z the remind of m divided by n is integer value m reminded on n and uh, the multiple m multiplied by n in e form in exponent, uh, exponential form e format is by multiplied by z and the second number with nine digit is um, with uh, this command of 
of n. Now we are going to run this uh, uh, project. Give me an integer. I am going to give 2.5 and it's uh, wrong. Control F5. Give me integer. Wrong number. I use uh, comma. It must be point. Give me an integer. I use two. The um, double number is four, and your number has one digit. Give me two integers. 3 and uh, 6 your first number in hexadecimal is 0 0.3 result of m divided by n 3 divided by 6 is 0 uh, is half the remind of 3 divided by uh, 6 is uh, 3 and uh, the m multiplied by n in e form is 18 which is 1.8 plus uh, e plus 1 the second number with 9 digits is 9 digit 6 and uh, and it is uh, so and press any key to continue and press the enter and it is done and it is uh, finished okay thank you for this tutorial see you on next tutorial